Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. AI piloted F-16 testbed gives out rides to USAF brass. Ag Eagle Aerial Systems ties deal with French Army. And first two Worldview Legion spacecraft join Constellation. And I'm your host, Talon Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. AI piloted F-16 testbed gives out rides to USAF brass. U.S. Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall was given a turn around the patch in the X-62A Variable In-Flight Simulation Test Aircraft, or VISTA, to illustrate just how far autonomous aircraft have come. The aircraft sounds much snazzier than it is in reality. Being a 30-year-old two-seat F-16D with a nifty paint job and an R2-D2 in one of the seats. The aircraft has long been in the U.S. Air Force Test Pilot School, where it received modifications for multi-axis thrust vectoring and aerodynamics. It went on to be used in the Skyborg program, equipped with an autonomous control system. Its latest guise now holds an updated and upgraded AI pilot, making it the very first AI fighter to dogfight against a human opponent. Kendall took a turn on and went out for a spin in the Vista to USAF Note. It's notable that the Air Force was willing to put someone of rank at the mercy of a fully automated machine. John Clark, VP and General Manager of Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, said, quote, The need for innovation at speed and scale is greater than ever. The X-62A Vista is a crucial platform in our efforts to develop, test, and integrate AI, as well as to establish AI certification standards that will revolutionize the future of aerospace, end quote. After the break, Skydio Chief offers rare insight into U.S. drone shortcomings. I think it's a very important thing to share the joy and love of flying. Our customers fly to remote places. They use our products to go places that are difficult to get to. Parts has been an excellent partner for Whip Air uh, just in terms of your product support as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demands. And it is that shared experience and the joy of flying that brings us all back and charges all of our batteries up. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Skydio Chief offers rare insights into U.S. drone shortcomings. Ukrainians reportedly aren't too impressed with U.S. drone tech, according to rumor, finding it more costly, finicky, and unreliable compared to Chinese equivalents. A think piece from the journal contained a handful of interesting quotes from a few stakeholders stateside, speaking candidly about what the industry needs to focus on. Skydio CEO Adam Bry admitted that, quote, the general reputation for every class of U.S. drone in Ukraine is that they don't work as well as other systems, end quote. Refreshingly, Bry didn't even exempt his own products from that equation either. Uncle Sam sues to seize $1.55 million aircraft landing gear. Sanctions against Russia continue to be waged when evidence supports a violation. A case in point, the Justice Department recently filed a forfeiture complaint against a set of aircraft landing gear for a Boeing 737-800 that was detained in September 2023 at Miami International Airport by U.S. Customs and Border Patrol. The gear was purchased for the benefit of a Kyrgyz Republic-based transshipper of dual-use items servicing the Russian Federation in violation of U.S. economic sanctions. Dash 7 to see Magniax electrification. Indian regional carrier Air Tindi has promised one of its de Havilland Dash 7 aircraft for use under the Magniax electric powertrain program, where it will be used as a testbed to establish the feasibility of their Magni 650 engine in a real-world environment. 
The news follows MagniX's successful completion of their first phase of testing in the NASA Electric Aircraft Testbed Facility in Sandusky, Ohio. Testing there is focused on assessing its power, 800-volt operations, and thermal performance using their Magni 650 engine at altitudes up to 27,500 feet. Oregon UAS Accelerator Selects Executive Director the Oregon UAS Accelerator announced the installation of Joseph Wino as its new executive director, noting that he took office from the interim director on April 15th to train into the role. Wino will see the state's, quote, only center of innovation excellence dedicated exclusively to unmanned aircraft systems and robotics, end quote, through the coming years, drawing on his resume of business and entrepreneurial work in years past. Wino got his start more than 25 years ago, working his way up to a position as a senior advisor and director for Octane's Launchpad SBDC Accelerator. Well, that was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Ag Eagle Aerial Systems ties deal with French Army. Ag Eagle Aerial Systems will ship 40 of its EB Vision Systems along with nine more EBs with all the parts, support, connections, control stations, and miscellany required to keep the fleet operational in French Army service. The sale underscores the subtle boom in drone sales to military entities the world over. Drone tech is here to stay, and despite the somewhat hodgepodge approach to tactical doctrine, the smart buyers are picking up the kit while they can and figuring out the fine print later. The EB Vision is a sensible choice for the French Army, offering a fixed-wing, single-engine camera platform with 32 times zoom, HD video capture, and thermal imaging as standard fitment. Add in semi-autonomous operations, scanning, and targeting, and it makes sense that the platform can be a strong force multiplier when used as a small, mobile scouting unit. Performance-wise, the EB family sports a general 12-mile range and 90 minutes of flight time as standard. The EB series generally shares a few nice little design elements too, like a silent radio mission mode with log file suppression, encryption, and radio silence. Couple that with a propulsory that is acoustically quote undetectable end quote at 1,000 feet HEL, and it seems like an obvious choice for spotters in the trenches. After these messages, first two Worldview Legion spacecraft join Constellation. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon, www.sportplane.com. Welcome back. First two Worldview Legion spacecraft join Constellation. Maxar Intelligence has confirmed that the first two Worldview Legion satellites are performing well after being launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket last week from Vandenberg SFB, California. Shortly after launch, the satellites deployed their solar arrays and began receiving and sending signals. These satellites will undergo commissioning, and Maxar Intelligence expects first images from the spacecraft later this spring. These two satellites are part of a first block of six Worldview Legion satellites. When these six satellites join Maxar Intelligence's constellation, the business will be able to collect imagery of the most rapidly changing areas on Earth as frequently as every 20 to 30 minutes.
Built by Maxar Space Systems, the two Earth observation satellites are the first Maxar 500 series high-stability platforms to reach space. Worldview Legion spacecraft are a new approach to Earth imaging satellites. Its optical instrument, provided by Raytheon, delivers the same 30-centimeter class imagery that Maxar is known for and benefits from the high stability and pointing accuracy of the Maxar 500 series bus. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.